Regular maintenance and seal replacement and hydraulic release bearings, or throwout bearings as they're often called, will ensure consistent, firm shifts. In this quick tech video, we will show you how to replace the seals in Quartermaster Race, Street, and Trilight hydraulic release bearings. Before you begin working on any hydraulic release bearing, always remember these four important things. 1. Always wear eye protection. 2. Never use DOT5 silicone brake fluid because it will damage the O-rings. 3. Never wash seals with solvent that may damage them. Only clean your seals with isopropyl alcohol or soap and water. 4. Never lube parts with lithium grease, mineral spirits, or petroleum grease such as Vaseline. Instead, use water-soluble DOT3 brake fluid or quartermaster race clutch hydraulic fluid. For your convenience, you may skip to the following times in this video for instructions on your particular bearing. To disassemble a quartermaster hydraulic race release bearing, first remove the spiral lock retaining ring, keeping it covered so the spring does not fly out. Remove the spring, taking care not to scratch the piston. Remove the piston. Remove the bearing and sleeve assembly. Remove lines and AN fittings. There are five seals to remove. One inside the bearing body, one inside the piston, one outside of the piston, and one on each AN fitting. When the release bearing is apart, clean the parts with isopropyl alcohol or soap and water. Be sure everything is clean and dry before reassembly. Before putting the bearing back together, lubricate the new seals. Install the new seals in the bearing body, the piston, and on the AN fittings, taking care not to roll, overstretch, or twist them. Install the piston by hand, ensuring that it sits squarely, and press with a twisting motion. Take care not to scratch the piston during reassembly. Install the spring with the large diameter down. Place the retaining washer onto the spring. Apply a downward force on the retaining washer, pushing it far enough to install the spiral lock retaining ring. A second person may be needed to install the spiral lock retaining ring by winding it fully into the groove. Slowly release the load on the retaining washer. Install the bearing and sleeve assembly. Attach AN fittings and lines. Bleed the release bearing and you're ready to reinstall it. To take apart your hydraulic street release bearing, first remove the AN fitting and push the piston in and out to remove brake fluid. Remove the piston by pressing it out by hand. Remove lines and AN fittings. Remove the retainer O-ring from the piston. Remove the two seals from the bearing body, one on either end. Also remove the small seals from the AN fittings. When everything is apart, clean the parts with isopropyl alcohol or soap and water. Be sure that the parts are clean and dry before reassembly. Once you are ready to reassemble, lubricate all new seals. Install new seals on the piston, bearing body, and AN fittings. Attach AN fittings and lines. Carefully install the piston, ensuring that it sits squarely and does not pinch or twist the seals. Bleed the release bearing and you're done. When disassembling a trilight hydraulic release bearing, first remove the piston and bearing assembly. Remove the wiper seal. Remove the AN fitting and blow compressed air through the line in order to remove the main seal. Remove lines and other fittings. Remove the fitting seals. Once the bearing is apart, clean the parts with isopropyl alcohol or soap and water. Make sure everything is dry before reassembly. Before putting the bearing back together, lubricate the new main seal and seal fittings. It is very important to thoroughly lubricate the main seal because it seals on both sides. Install the main seal using the piston to ensure that the seal sits squarely. Install the fitting seals onto the AN fittings. Attach AN fittings and lines. 
Install the new wiper seal. Carefully install the piston, ensuring that it sits squarely and does not pinch or twist the seals. Finally, bleed the release bearing and it's ready to reinstall. No matter which clutch and hydraulic release bearing combination you are using, regular maintenance and seal replacement will ensure consistent, firm shifts and a longer, trouble-free service life. For assistance in replacing seals and any Quartermaster hydraulic release bearing, call us toll-free at 1-888-258-8241 or visit us online at QuartermasterUSA.com where you can also download a copy of the instructions used in this video. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook.